on your typical Whoa, team match. what on earth? Welcome to Raw, but apparently, who are these people? The Judgment Day is being attacked by a few people. Wait a minute, is that Liv Frost? Liv Frost and these two other people are attacking the Judgment Day here to start off Raw. Who on earth? Oh! We have no idea what's going on here to start off Raw. The judgment there was just out here and all of a sudden they were ambushed by these three people. One of them happening to be the Nightmare, Liv Frost. Look out! Why on earth does Ripley have a hockey stick? Colliding with a barricade. Oh, perfect kick. A running hurricane rata. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. What a hurricane rata by the person with the blue and black hair in the ring. To fast lane. Best line, Emma Quinn coming off of a victory winning the uh, women's tag team titles at uh, Vengeance. Oh my goodness! Oh, shit breaker. Ridiculous standing shooting star. And just like that, we Lynn Frost with a tribute to the late great Bray Wyatt with a mandible claw there to Emma Quinn. Just pinning the arm down and then I have no idea who Ripley and Fastlane are fighting. They're not even a part of the roster. What are they doing here? Psychological warfare from Liv Frost. With a shining wizard to Quinn. Crushing knee strike. Chaos has erupted here to start Raw. Bang! Crossface hold applied now. Well, this won't win the match, but Rig it's a Saturn here from Fastlane. Gotta find an escape path quickly. And she's doing it. She's out. Boom. Kick to the back. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Arms trap. Endless knee strikes. Big form. And a basement drop kick. Up and down. What a slam. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Suicide dive. Nice counter there by Quinn. What is Rhea doing? And she knew Ripley's game this is playing. not a match. I have no idea what is going on here. To start Raw. This is the second week in a row where we've Dixon seen an ambush happen. Space. Last week it was the debut of Emma Quinn. Now it's the debut of whoever these two people are that Liv Frost brought with her to take on the Judgment Day. What a head scissors! with the suplex turning the tables there check to the midsection into the hammerlock i think we know what comes next oh close to the end. oh Not what you want to see by any means there's the snapmare great response to ripley there great awareness as she proves to great wait is she yet looking for the submission What a power bomb by whoever that is. Wearing down the opponent. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. She flips it back on her. Oh man. Gotta find an escape path quickly. 
And she's doing it. She's out. Oh. Textbook neckbreaker. Into the barricade. Basement drop kick. Chaos here to start off raw. She's out like a light. What on earth is Frost doing? Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more than oh. going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfire. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Ooh. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Ooh. Well measured. Turns it in toward your On to the chair. back to the mat. Can't see it here for Frost. I don't know what this girl is doing. Whatever it is, seems like Quinn just countered it. Targets the gut to end the offense. Kick right to the. There's the torture. And Quinn. Fighting desperately. Oh. Just like she envisioned. The ride of death. Oh! And she continues to carry on through the pain. An outstanding surge at exactly the right time. Ouch! Oh! Once more, What is this? Again! A sit out Samoan driver! Ripley's left to defend for herself against these three! Delivers the sling blade. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Tossing Ripley into the ring. And these two go like a pack of sharks. Smelling blood in the water. What a kick! Oh, wait a minute. Is Fro was Frost attempting what I think she's attempting? Is Frost thinking about Sister Abigail? This is nothing short of disturbing. Oh, we know what's coming up next. Ripley's got her hook. Riptide! No doubt Ripley just ended this. He's gonna try uh oh again. Mad World on the stop side. This one is over. Here are your winners, the disciples of darkness. And we are looking at. The I don't know what just happened in this matchup. But whoever these three are, just beat down the Judgment Day. They found a way to overcome such a challenge. Up his lip, Ross has a microphone now. Take notice. A new era is upon us. The Judgment Day thinks that they have the numbers. Not anymore. As you just seen, I have found myself a couple friends. This right here on the left with the black and white hair. Her, this is Alexa Hart. On the right is Phoebe Phantom. And we are the disciples of darkness. Hey Rhea, how about I take you on at the Great American Bash this Sunday while these two Go after y'all's women's tag team titles. 
Oh, and one more thing. Welcome to the Mad World! Wow. A message sent by the Nightmare in the debut of the Disciples of Darkness, Alexa Hart and Phoebe Phantom. Well, speaking of tag teams, well, first of all, that those two matches are of, indeed official. This Sunday at the Great American Bash, the Judgment Day is fast lane, and Emma Quinn will defend against the Disciples of Darkness, Alexa Hart and Phoebe Phantom. And Liv Frost will take on Rhea Ripley. Speaking of the Judgment Day, Finn Balor and Damian Priest are in this match. Take it on. The Hart Foundation. DX. And the returning team of Brody Lee and Braun Strowman. We're about to find out who's going to challenge the descendants for the Raw Tag Team titles this Sunday. At week number one of the Great American Bash. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do three different weeks. First week is Raw and SmackDown. Second week is going to be uh, NXT, I believe. And the third week is AEW and Impact. Welcome to the Raw before week one of the Bash. What a way to start. But for now, or I should say that was an interesting way to start. Hey, either way, here we go. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first, the team of the game, Triple H, and the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, D-Generation X. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. We are indeed in the month of July in Universe Mode. Week 1 of the Great American Bash happening this Sunday. Sorry that I haven't been doing action these last couple of weeks. But it's because we've had the fair going on. I will have a vlog on my YouTube coming out at some point once I edit it. Um, but it was so much fun. It was a little bit of chaos, but it was fun. But now, speaking of chaos, darkness has fallen over the arena. And here comes the Judgment Day. Next, the team of Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the Judgment Day! Both of these two already have matches this Sunday. Damian Priest challenges Captain Jack Sparrow once again for the Intercontinental Championship. And Finn Balor, looking to, to make, looking to prove that Blackster has an obsession with Balor. And that that obsession cost Blackster the Universal Championship in the Triple Threat match at Vengeance, won by John Cena. Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Next, the team of Jim the Anvil Nightheart and Brett the Hitman Heart, the Heart Foundation. I took my spot here at the commentary table. I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. 
Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> <laughs> Next, introducing first, he is the exalted one, Brody Lee. Well, and this superstar is living proof. Ruthless aggression is overrated, Saxton. Whatever happened to being ruthful? How come nobody ever uses that word anymore? Because they learned from John Cena, I guess. I don't know. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. The monster of all monsters has arrived. And... And his tag team partner from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina. He is the monster of all monsters. Braun Strowman! Monsters is more than just a nickname. This monster has stood toe to toe with every giant in WWE and slain them all. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Tag team action underway. Elimination rules for this contest. A team is officially out of the match once a member has been eliminated. No, a team is out of the match when both members are eliminated, actually. What a broken arrow by Priest! And I think the hit man oh, took the brunt of that shot. Brett Cover. has been He's busted up. open. He's got no pin. This could be it. And he kicks out of the pin. Double pins, He's double one counts. Besides the threat of a pinfall anywhere in the arena. Strowman with a power bomb to Michaels. To be aware of, Corey. Well, there are no disqualifications in a false count. I think probably the most powerful team in this match has to be the team of Strowman and Brody Lee. And we haven't seen team up since 2K22. Made already one of the Heart Foundation's members is already messed up. Brett being busted open. It's all over his face and marked in red. And Al, I think that was onto some chairs. Why does Strowman have a stop side? Well, he doesn't anymore. What a kick by Priest. Strowman's got stop side again. Not anymore. And he just got right over. That's Strowman. Strowman's like, hey, that's my job. To run people. Who has a bat? Who has a bat? DDT covered by Triple H. Only one count. Who has a, no one has a bat. Freeze! Lifting up Michaels for a razor's edge. All on the stop sign. Strowman went for the running power slam. Oh, 
See you later, Michaels. This is right for him. What grace. Float over into the... Over. Nice. DDT. Oh, Priest had the bat. Bauer! Cooter Graw! Well-executed move we just saw there. Did Finn pinch this? Two! See you later, Brody! So much for my last statement. There's only two teams remaining in full force. Uh oh, Bauer! Whoa! Bauer going flying to the outside, and now Priest swinging for the fences with the bat. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Oh, trying to DT him on the floor. Strowman jumping Jim to the outside. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, that was scary power. Look at Priest. I fear what he's thinking of right now. Whoa! Oh, uh, went for 1916. Oh, what a shot. Oh, what a power. A nice power slam. Here we go. Look out. Outside, no way home. You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. The temples. He thinks he has it. Covered by Triple H on Strowman. And a kick out of only one. Here's a cover. Could be it. Covered by Priest on... Spybuster! He breaks the ref's count before two. Oh, I'm Jim. Okay. I was like, anymore. which one is that? Scoop slam. Making it look easy. Oh, a nasty stop. <laughs> oh, tossed hard into the ring post. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. <laughs> Attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Out of the way in time. <laughs> nice drop kick. Freeze. Oh. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Steps through. Twisting up the leg there. Oh, no. We're about to take a trip. Set the Freeze has him. Staring at the lights. See you later, Jim. Judgment Day is the only team left in full force. These superstars must be feeding off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. Oh, Strowman had the steps. But now the Judgment Day looking to go on the attack. 1916. I forgot Triple H was still left. I actually forgot. Great strength being shown here. Oh! Throw oh, Priest to see it's a sharpshooter! Was that Priest just walking by and not decided to break it up? Forced out of the ring. And here's the monster. Oh, Strowman! Running power slam! He's heading back to the ring. I can't believe the no. didn't even get to one. I don't know how he can kick out of that. Uh, he did he get to one. He got the two. Whoa! Oh, and Bauer goes flying too! Well, if one misses, then the other probably won't. He refuses to stay down. Bauer, 1916. That's got to be it for Brett. That's it for Brett. The Hart Foundation is done. Now it's Strowman, Triple H, and the Judgment Day. Look at the squeeze, it's on like a vice grip. 
Oh, that just looks nasty. I feel like Strowman has a chance to possibly take out the Judgment Day by himself. Well, Triple H is there too, but that uh -oh. doesn't really help. Shutting that down with the back elbow. Ooh. Uh oh. No way. Oh no. Has his opponent up. Razor Zedge. The pillars of this building must be crumbling from the energy these fans are putting out right now. These superstars are giving it their all, and this audience is giving it right back. Uh-oh, why does he have a bat? Oh, not anymore. Float over. And it went DDT. Fight. Oh, that'll prove your clock. And there was some force on that move. Oh, he knew what was coming. Driven into the barricade. Strowman, indeed attempting to fight off the Judgment Day on his own, not counting Triple H. Uh oh! Running power slam on the stop sign. See you later, Balor. And Priest ran right into that. Yeah, but can he roll on his body? Can he roll? Can he roll here and counter this? Fight it! Fight it! The elevated triangle, but short shots to the ribs break the hold. Delivered into the barricade. Oh, my goodness. Punch him in the chest. Getting creative here. Good luck catching your breath after that. Oh no. We're gonna take a trip. Set the heaven! Amazingly executed once more. Yeah, See you later, Triple, Triple H. H. And now Priest! Priest! Razors! H! Oh, what is Priest doing now? Why does he have the stop sign? Oh, he missed. He missed. Uh oh, is that the heaven? Rip locked in on a tour south of heaven. Priest ended this fight. Two count. No! Strowman kicks out. Down in the first place is a feat in and of itself. But as we witnessed, getting the monster among men to stay down for a three count is a whole other challenge. Priest clearly thinking, what am I going to have to do to put this one away? Storm is being cut down in every corner. Got to expect Priest's calm control to continue. Braun able to take a stand there. That might be what gets Braun Strowman out of jeopardy. Oh! He's just reeling from that offense. Uh-oh, Strowman! What in power slam! Ooh, that's got to do it. That's got to be it. And Braun Strowman and Brody Lee are going to the bash. Here are your winners, Braun Strowman and Brody Lee. Thanks in large part to Braun Strowman. Yeah, what a match. I can only imagine how they must feel right now. Yeah, a certain amount of pride has to come with surviving elimination matches. Braun Strowman and Brody Lee will take on the Descendants this Sunday at the Great American Bash. Week number one. Now that's the only week for the next couple weeks because I'll be heading to the beach starting next Saturday. So yeah. Unless I decide to do the bash on Friday next week, which I might. Actually, yeah, I probably will. I'll do the bash next Friday for week two. Then week three will be when I come back. Anyways, for the first time in forever, Zed and Addison teaming up to take on the IRL couple of Seth freaking Rollins and Becky Lynch. And it's about time to sing along.
The crowd is singing for Seth freaking Rollins. The best dressed man in WWE and a pretty darn good conductor, too. The following. The following contest is scheduled is a mixed tag team match scheduled for one fall. It's just the first from Davenport, Iowa. Set freaking Rollins. He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> The man has arrived. And the WWE Universe is on their feet. And his partner. And his partner. From Dublin, Ireland. The man, Becky Lynch. Her career to elevating the women's division. Arguably the hardest working competitor in the women's division. And she's also a leader and she's a trailblazer. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. This is just like the fan fiction I wrote. Let's take it over the music. And their opponents, the team of Zed and Addison so Zombies. Two of my absolute favorites are teaming up. Yeah, the okay, but nothing singing over crazy. the music, which y'all couldn't hear, but I could. But that was funny. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Get ready for the best of both worlds. It's there goes Zed and Seth Rollins starting it off. It back onto him. Oh, it could be over here. This is it. Right, Zed. Maybe not. Saved by Becky. Oh, oh went for That's a standing shooting star press. Rollins oh. gets out of the way. He tags out, so now the women are going to go one on one. Tag. Sorry, I'm also on my phone. The There's a crucifix, nicely done. Or a pump handle, pump handle coming. Boom! Incredible suplex. She tags out, so now it's the men one on one. Flying forearm connects. Atomic drop not finished yet, Byron. Oh, Zed with the leg drop. Combo. He tags out, which means it's now time for the tag. To here we go again. DDT. 
Oh, Addison was thinking about that standing shooting, or shooting star, standing, uh, Spanish fly. I was, I couldn't think of the name of the word. What a Miss Snoker driver by Becky. It was a part of a fatal four-way match for the women's title at Vengeance, where J-Nation would retain her title, even overcoming the odds against Becky Lynch and two members of Damage Control, Bailey and Dakota Kai. It's already been announced that another member of Damage Control and EO Sky will be taking on J-Nation this Sunday at the Great American Bash for the women's title. Whoa, is it with a cross face? What a cross body! That looked almost like a spear there from Zed, which is not normal. Oh! He's going for it all. Zed going to the top. Morales goes to the outside. Look out! Zed doesn't care. Oh, oh man, meeting the barricade. Snake eyes. Rollins with a DDT. Uh-oh. Ripcord knee. knee finds the mark. Now yeah, Revolution knee. Offensive. These women have been tagged to Becky. The bit, and now they're about to throw down. Asa was thinking about a DDT, I believe. Swinging neckbreaker he from Becky. Cover. And a strong kick no. One. She just will not give up, Cole. Ah, oh, kick. Well, that's Asa asking kick. for you. She was in the women's final four this year. Smart back in March. Well, I guess back in April. Becky, I think we're thinking about the disarmor. Nice scoop slam. Oh, right the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Oh, what a forearm smash. What a forearm by uh, Addison and a drop kick. Becky Lynch may be starting to fade here. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, oh. God, face first. Lynch is losing command in this one. Becky's fighting spirit needs to cause a DDT. And just got caught with that DDT. Okay, here comes Zed. Rollins, what a kick! Just punched him right in the mouth, relentless, right in the face. My God! And Zed going to the outside, but Rollins, he's looking to fly. That is tossing your own body around without a care, taking no account for their own well-being. No, that'll break his arm. Vicious. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. They can't go to the tag if they're on the outside. What an Enziguri by Zed. The risk of a possible count out. This is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, ledges. So much could go wrong very quickly. Here we go. Inverted DDT. Bite. Oh, it's what a knee. So he thinks he has it. Stopping the ref. No. Too. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Repositioning their opponent. Looks Roll like a it. Bang. Oh. And Addison with the save. 
He gets the tag, and that means his opponent has to switch with his partner, too. Kick to the midsection. That is it. Twins the fight. Is it enough? The cover. And she fights No. She just will not go away. Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. Sending Becky to the outside. Where's for her knee? Becky getting out of the way. Critical time in this matchup. This is a time to dig deep. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, toss across. Right into a drop. The elbow to the arm. Or a by Becky. Popped up by a bit thinking about the main handle slam. Yep, we went for it. Went for the main handle slam. With an elbow to the face. Kick to the gut. Here's the setup. What a power draw by Addison. This is what you Addison. Watch her do it. Like, oh, wait a She's minute. Getting back up, but she might be down She's telling Becky soon. to get up. Watch her do it. Like, she doesn't connect. She missed. A nice hip toss. Right into a drop. I know, maybe elbow. Becky was thinking about the disarmor. I don't know. She gets tag, tag, here comes Rollins. Opponent has to leave the ring too. Oh, Rock kick by Zed. Rolling elbow for Rollins. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, I'm thinking the about a possible springboard curb stop. Full control here. A oh, Rollins has been busted open. Look at this raining right hands. Non stop blows. Drop kick from the former Intercontinental the Champion. Yeah, this is not good. You don't Why is he looking at Becky? Yeah, all the architect's designs seem to be going. It's Zed. No Look out! That was not a good landing. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Man, this place is jumping. He nice counter. Oh, God, that hurt. Seth Rollins desperately needs to figure this out. This can't be how Rollins envisioned his night going. Oh, and a stop. He tags, tags in the Addison. The women to compete. What a move by Addison! Dangerous thinking. I think she was thinking about Bam. Hooked up, Fisherman Suplex. Addison getting up to her feet. Off the ropes with a cutter. Nice counter by Becky. Becky Lynch and Seth freaking Rollins helps lead the team to victory. Dominant forces within their own divisions, even more impressive together. What a match! Four star match there, not bad. Next up, J Nation taking on one of the one of the members of Damage Control, Dakota Kai, ahead of her match with Eo Sky this Sunday at the Bash.
and also one of the members that was in the Fatal 4-Way match at Vengeance. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kicks. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. The following the contest, contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing Damage Control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. She's got a ruthless attitude, ruthless kicks, all in the name of of damage control the captain of team kick is long gone she is now the assassin of damage control yeah and the chip on her shoulder has grown even larger since coming back to wwe And here comes the champion. And her opponent from Arkansas, she is the CB Nation Women's Champion, J Nation. The unbreakable one coming off of a victory in a fatal four-way match at Vengeance. Facing EO Sky this Sunday at the Bash. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Uh, what is that camera angle? That was horrible. And here's the superstar who's worked hard to get where they are today to reach the top of the division. Oh, yeah, and just look into their eyes. They do not plan on stepping down anytime soon. Focused and poised. If they play their cards right, guys, this match could... Oh, no, she could be... They didn't go for a Black Widow! I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is trapped and in... Almost a miraculous escape. The Kai is escaping. Nice counter by Dakota. When you're squaring up with a potent striker like Dakota Kai, what's the go-to strategy? You need to take away some of that striking power. Jenny's countering with the sub strikes of a road. Deliberate nice DDT. Cover by the champion. She pops the shoulder Title up not on the line. Sends a very clear message. And look at her feeding off the WW. Oh, she had enough of that. Face first with a waist lock takedown. And count outs are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. The JD should what a hurricane Rada. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. What a DDT on the outside. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Throws her back in from ringside. But it's Harry face first off the ropes. Nice counter by Kai. On unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Oh, Dakota! Bang! Kai showing up just how dangerous she can be. She's not here to play nice, Saxton. Oh, oh what a gang! Shoulders down. This could be the one that, that could be it. No, she kicks no. Out. What a match! 
The nation's phrase is, I won't stay down. Kai was thinking about the chiropractor. Uh oh! Jay! Hey! Oh! This spell's doomed for Kai. For the win! Two! Good night, Dakota! That'll change your career. Here is her winner, Jay Nation! This is a big win for them here, and a must-win match. Every match is special, but this one just raised the bar even higher. I bet the whole locker room is watching this one by the end of it. Next up, speaking of champions, the former women's champion Mal taking on Shayna Baszler in her next match. She's a feared MMA grappler who is always ready to fight. The following contest, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. On her way to the ring. From Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shea Baszler. A menacing look in her eye. Michael, I think you mean terrifying? Baszler is ready to subdue any and all opposition she encounters. Baszler just absolutely loves combat in any form. You say that like it's a bad thing. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. And her opponent representing the descendants from Oregon by way of Isle of the Lost. Now! This is why I do what I do. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. And here's a woman on a mission. She has the singular goal of being the most dominant superstar in the women's division. And she has no issue getting in your face about it either. She doesn't care who she has to run over. There is no second place for her in any competition. And then there's Shayna Baszler, someone who simply believes that there's nothing sweeter than the experience of breaking down her opponent any way that she possibly can. You don't have to like it, but you can't deny that Baszler's made an art form out of systematically breaking down just about anyone she stood across the ring from since arriving in WWE. 
Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh wow. What a good punch. measure. Ripcord applied. Oh, and a forearm. She scurries out of there. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Look to the gut. Power bomb. Oh, not done yet. Oh. oh. A drop. If I'm standing across the ring from Shayna Baszler, I know I can't beat her in a straight-up fight. So what do I do? I focus on stamina and simply outlasting my competition. Shayna's used to ending fights quickly, so stamina may be the key to solving the submission magician. As long as you don't get tapped out before you can properly execute your plan, that is. Another! That's gotta be it! She breaks the ref's count. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Oh, toss across! Right into a drop! The elbow to the arm. Ripping and tearing at the face of her opponent. That's not right. She's taking some big hits here. Just dismantling their opponent. Ooh, shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? And only gets a one count. This battle rages on. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. She's staying elusive. Oh, Kavat Sleeper is in. Oh, Kavat Sleeper hold. He sits in. Oh, my goodness. Critical point of the matchup. A couple of right hands, and that'll create space and separation. Leap it over. Oh! Upside down with the backdrop. Watch out behind you. There comes Mal. Super girl punch. No. She's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. But we all know what comes next. Oh my goodness! Dribbling the opponent's head like a. Making sure Shayna stays down. First whip went for a spear. I don't know what she went for that time, but she also missed. Uh oh. Queen of Spades showing her. Shada. Oh. Cover. Two. No. Just a shoulder up after two. That is just pure instinct at this point. Able to reverse. What a suplex from Mal. Now uh, here we go. So swinging neck breaker. Kita, swinging neck breaker. Shayna Baszler's got her opponent right where she wants her. Bad down. Kirafuda. Kirafuda driver into the clutch. Baszler moments away, closing in on a submission win. Another big win perhaps coming for Baszler. Look at this court. Look at and this. Now fighting her way out. Escaping. Spectacular. Going up high with the punch. First whip. What a punch. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't What's be Mal long. thinking? What on earth is Mal thinking? You just feel like this match may be about to reach its finish. Feel like we're about to see a car crash. Holy <laughs> crap! Is and now so Mal! Look at the end this! With a spear! Game over. It. It's finally over. Here is your, Here winner. Is your winner. Now. 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 Now.
She worked hard for this win, and now she gets to enjoy the payoff. Absolutely. You love to see someone's determination come to fruition like this. Next up, the rivalry continues going into this Sunday's Great American Bash. Captain Jack Sparrow and Damian Priest. Ready for the matchup. There's Very Captain cool. Jack. Oh, and Priest. Someone was a bit worried about this matchup. So much so, this competitor had to deliver a cheap shot. Well, that could create some disastrous repercussions for this competitor moving forward in this match. Because if you can't walk, you can't fight. Well, after a shocking surprise attack while entering, this match is finally underway. We'll just have to wait and see how that little scuffle alters the balance of power in this contest. Little scuffle? I think you're downplaying what we just saw unfold in front of us. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. And he has an answer for Priest. And gets tossed back into the mat. And now the match is underway. Oh, what a forearm oh, by Priest. Dodges. And there's the takedown. Knee strike. Vicious knee. He's getting a little batter now. What do we need to see from Damian Priest in this match if he wants to get the win? I think Priest needs to look for ways to get the physical advantage. The more he can do to put his unbridled strength to work, the better. The power he can put behind his punches is his best bet at finding victory. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Boom, just turn that around. Saving us from having to sit through that. Punishing power slam. Shoulders down. And the rope will force a break. And we're looking at a very animated Damian Priest here. Where on earth is Priest going? On the top. Oh, well. Diving down. Handle. I was countered by Jack. He turns it around. Oh, my God, what an elbow. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Oh, an overhand chop. Fine uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 back no. Back suplex. A back suplex right onto the apron. Ouch. That's mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Priest is having problems here. This is where that calm of Priest will be tested. And he slides him back to the mat. Three. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Uh-oh, time to fly. There's the elbow drop. That's got to be it. Two. And even after the attack. They are hurt. Can't really enjoy what was a... Huge victory tonight because of this injury. What a victory it should be. An unbelievable effort from this superstar, but it's blatantly obvious this superstar is in a great deal of pain right now. Yeah, we knew how much. I don't this know if Captain Jack Sparrow will even be able to make it. Did, but now you could have to the bash this Sunday. A gutsy performance tonight.
Well, it's main event time. We're about to find out who will face John Cena for the Universal Championship this Sunday at the Great American Bash. The following is the Roy British Bulldog number one. It is only 20. One of the most powerful superstars in history. Introducing the participants. First, from Manchester, England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith. The question hovering above this situation is, how bad do you want it? What are you willing to go through? How far are you willing to push yourself to win the Royal Rumble? Rules are simple. Cross your opponent over the top rope, both feet hit the floor, and then you are eliminated. Bret Hart, or is it Jim Neidhart? The best there is. Bret Hart the is number two. Is, and the best there ever will be. Introducing the individual who drew number two, representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds. Bret, the Hitman Hart. A life-changing opportunity, but an incredible obstacle. Remember the rules of a Royal Rumble match. You eliminate someone when you toss them over the top rope and both feet hit the floor. The last person standing will be the winner of the Royal Rumble and have their name etched in history. I've said it a million times, but this is by far my favorite WWE match. I think a lot of people would agree with you. The unpredictability factor, the alliances, the moment of triumph at the end. These matches are like epic myths playing out before us. Oh, look at that scope slam. Get ready. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Going right after the neck. Oh, man, here he comes. Here's hoping to make a big impact here tonight. Showman number three. Sorry, I was right looking at my head. phone again. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. Winner will face John Cena 14 for the Universal Championship this Sunday at the Bash. We're about to find out who is Number four next. is about to come in, and everyone seems to be teaming up on the biggest guy, the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. Oh, gentlemen, business uh -oh. is about to pick up. It's time to play the game. Oh, and apparently it's time to continue to team up on Braun. Braun and Braun Strowman already has a match. Him and Brody Lee will team up to take on the Descendants for the Raw Tag Team Titles this Sunday at the Great American Bash. See you later, British Bulldog. And see you later, Bret Hart. Here comes Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits. I mean, I guess. That's for sure. I mean, I definitely would have won the Royal Rumble in 2012 if I picked number 30. Oh, my goodness. Russian leg sweep. Boom! Close line to the back of the neck. I continue to forget that Michael Cole was ever in a Royal Rumble match. He's lost some of his win now. Dawkins is someone that could definitely fight Strowman. I mean, he once yeeted him at WrestleMania last, or no, this year. Here comes Zed. You can see the fire in his eyes from here. Dawkins' attack gets reversed. 
Two former Intercontinental Champions, Braun Strowman and Zed. Headlock, terrible position to be in here. Might not end well. Oh. Down. Counters. Boy, the time just flies, doesn't it? Into the hammerlock. Oh, boy. Back suplex. <sighs> Former champion! In a major way. Blackster is in the Rumble! Uh, or in the match. Because technically this isn't a Rumble. It's not the Royal Rumble. Zed attempting to take out Strowman! Blackster with a spear to, to uh, Dawkins. Yeah, if anyone can deal with Strowman, it's Blackster. But apparently not in this case. And he gets kicked by Triple H. Kick to the gut. Bulldog take a drink. Oh boy, here comes the maze. He definitely looks ready to get in there and make a statement, Michael. Vicious right forearm. Now thinking the cerebral assassin. Dawkins was ready there. Getting set up for something in the corner. Nice takedown. Has Braun in his clutches. Brought down with a DDT. Guys, it's almost time for this competitor! Our side headlock applied. Oh, oh and a right hand for good measure. Carolina, That's gotta be Kay! Oh man, just listen to the crowd! It's over! Oh, oh Zed just got this yeeted. Right Spare from Blackster! Oh, Kane helping Miz attempt to take out Dawkins. And almost did the job. Almost got the job done. Slug blade for Blackster. And a drop kick. Oh, 2009 Randy Orton. Slug blade. Oh, I thought Strowman was about to do a springboard. We are at maximum capacity. Look at this. Orton with a DDT. Zed! Twins to fate! Triple H has been busted open by the vice grip. But I mean, I guess. And Figuri from Zed. He needs to be prepared. This demonic look from Kane is very foreboding. Inverted atomic drop, not finished yet, Byron. Oh, how about we are European uppercut? Back suplex. Oh no! Oh, oh ouch! To the kidneys from behind. Oh, right in there. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Nice takedown. Oof. Here. Half Nelson applied. Oh! oh Spine Buster from Triple H. Dawkins with the, Dawkins with the counter. Chaos happening in this match. Show me running power slam to Zed. With the knee to the face. Blackster was trying to deal with Kane, but Triple H interfering. Triple H takes up Blackster! Well, at least Blackster already has a match at the Bash. The war continues to rage on with no superstar willing to give an inch. Dawkins! You never want to find yourself in a spot like this. Look at the squeeze, it's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Oh my gosh, what impact! Splash! Showman with a splash to Kane. Side rushing legs 
Dawkins attempting to take out Strowman. Hang in there. Just a little bit longer to go. Zed no gets countered. Oh no! Orton! This is vintage Randy Orton! With the DT! Dawkins is out! Uh oh! Kane's got back up. Went for a choke slam! He was waiting for him to make his move. Kicked by the Miz! Is went for the DDT, but of course Undertaker has to help. Oh, and they're fighting each other! He's ejected from the ring. Remember for himself! Undertaker takes out Kane! Okay, oh, and Strowman's been busted open! Snake Eyes in the corner. What a close on by Zed. Up. Here comes Finn Balor. The man who says, the man who says black, the man, the man that says Blackster is obsessed with him. Those two will have a match together against each other this Sunday at the Bash. Now Balor has a chance to possibly yeah, get another universal kiss. opportunity against a different champion. See you later, Zed! Here comes Razor Ramon! Uh oh. Oh, Strowman went for a running power slam. The Miz counters. Triple H! Pedigree! Oh man, takes out Orton. Apparently, this match needed a mud hole. Here comes Edge. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Debilitating attack on the leg. Miz has him measured up. Miz might be thinking it's goal crushing finale. Edge says no. Edge. He actually, IRL, he debuted in AEW last night at Wrestle Dream. There's real name Adam Copeland. There you go. There goes Miz. And a hip toss to escape. Basement drop kick. Big back body drop. You see the height on that? Baller hanging on. First DDT. That's a free call. Catches him with a jawbreaker. Here comes Brody Lee. Yeah, well, he better keep his head on a swivel. One mistake, and he could be out of here just as quick. And that was a heck of a heave we just saw. It's now Brody Lee and Strowman, the team that will be challenging the descendants for the Raw Tag Team titles this Sunday at the Bash. But they are fighting each other. I reckon Rana by Brody Lee, that's a big guy to be doing that stuff. Uh oh! Here comes another former Intercontinental Champion, it's Slappy. He might be small, but he is very vicious in the ring. 
Triple H! Oh, I thought he was going for a choke slam on The Undertaker. See you later, Razor! Spawn Buster from Triple H! Oh no! Slappy gonna get dropped with a pedigree! Balor trying to take out Brody. Uh oh! Running power slam, and I know that's probably not the first time Triple H just felt that. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. Hooking it up. Uh oh. Bowers going for a run. No, he counters the choke slam. He's returning fire. Right to the face. My God. And did you hear that? Right to the already busted open face of Triple H. What a DDT by Bowers. Oh no! Here comes Brock Lesnar. Before he had a beer. Before he was a cowboy. He's going after Strowman. Why they not? Oh, now he's facing Undertaker because, again, why not? Oh no! Tombstone! Oh, Triple H is gone. That's the third vice grip by Strowman in this match. One of them busts open Triple H. Got it. Got it. Somehow. Oh, what a choke slam. Toss them across the ring. Uh-oh. This could be it. Oh! Brody Lee takes down. out Undertaker! Laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. Ooh. Oh, knee left. Oh. Look out! The Strowman Express is pumping through. Strowman is doing. We hardly ever. But Valor is attempting to take him out. Oh wait, if Lesnar's in, it's about to see Suplex City. And again, the Strowman Express. This time running through Valor, but oh no. Keller's got the back up. Uh oh! Power. Running power slam! Braden, with this late into the match, you know one of the members of the Judgment Day is about to win. Because they're not going to go after each other. Kind of like what we saw in the Women's Rumble with Damage Control. But Strowman with a running power slam to Breeze! But they had a chance to take out Bauer. They're going to set freaking Rollins. This gets close line for Brody. Slappy with a tombstone to Brody. Oh, here we go. Suplex City. Dicks. Population Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, my How about team up against the Judgment Day and stop fighting each other? Thank you, Brock. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh oh. Another suplex. But now Damian Priest. He got whipped oh! Uh oh, this is just vicious. Trying to take out Brock. Seth Rollins. And Rollins super kick. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. This is uh, gonna get ugly. Oh no, Slappy has died. I thought he was out. Oh, Slappy, I think, was thinking about a choke slam to Rollins. What a Samoan drop. We are at maximum capacity here. No one can enter until someone's eliminated. Oh, my 
Remember the time so oh well actually this was back in 2K17 before I was really streaming. But there was a time when Slap B and Brody Lee, then known as Luke Harper, were buddies, because Slappy and the Bludger Brothers would go after the former team of the Renegades, including Kane, Braun, Strowman. The guy we haven't seen since last season, the Assassin AK-47, and so many others. Sheamus, at one point, was Battle looking for a standing coup de gras? Kind of looked like it. Uh-oh, and speaking of rivals, there goes Slappy via his former rival, Braun Strowman. Meanwhile, and check it out, Ke uh, Strowman, uh, Lesnar! Execution! Oh, Edge has been busted open. The Judgment Day is running amok. Oh, here comes Slappy. You know, I'm getting really sick and tired of the Judgment Day. Yeah, who is it? Oh no. I really hope they both get eliminated. Well, right now, please go after your former rival and Strowman, the guy who eliminated you. Eh, you know how it is. I mean, that rivalry's over, but still. What a clothesline by Rollins. Uh, and Priest just gets right back up. Oh, okay. Shawn Michaels, the final entrance. Now we're trying to take out Rollins. Edge, flapjack the Priest. Just team up on the Judgment Day, please. I agree. That was not the smartest idea by Valor. No, it was not. So what do you think about this whole... Oh, there was Brody! What do you think about this whole... Sounds of heaven! I keep getting my interrupted by moments happening. What do you think about this whole... Finn Balor saying Blackster... Oh, Strowman's gone! Oh, no. And there goes Edge. What about... Think about this whole Balor... Being obsessed with Blackster thing. Do you agree with it? No. I mean, not really. Uh-oh. 1960. I don't agree with it. I mean, Balor seems to be the one obsessed with Blackster, not the other way around. Oh, and Balor's been eliminated. There goes Balor's now to Michaels, Rollins, and Priest. No more backup for Damien. Plus, Damien Bulldog take a drink. Already has a match this Sunday. I would have had one if it weren't for Strowman. Yeah, I can see that. Rollins taking out Michaels! Come on, Seth! Seth Rollins' nickname you want, they're all true. And the WWE Universe can't deny it. Come on, Seth. I want to see you and see that. That would be an interesting match. I mean, we've seen it before IRL. Oh. That's what happens when you taunt like that. Oh, man. Priest just learned that the hard way. Looking for elimination here. Oh! Oh, Rollins might have it! Oh! He's got him over! Ah, oh, so close. Almost. The composure of these two Here we go, there's the thing. Indeed, the thing, the amazing. final two, Rollins and Priest. Winner faces John Cena for the Universal Championship this Sunday at the Bash. Oh, what a name by Rollins! And another one! So I've felt many of those before. Springboard! I've never seen Priest do that before. We've seen it these past weeks. I've never seen. Oh no! Oh no! South of heaven! Rollins might be in trouble. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Yeah, all the architect's designs seem to be going. Hey, David Priest! Damien Priest! There you have it, outlasting 
so many other Balls was so close. To the main event of well, now Priest has two this matches this huge. Sunday. Sure That's so interesting. All week long. But he also injured Captain Jack Sparrow. An update on him. Uh, we don't know if he'll be able to compete. We'll continue to give updates throughout the week on the health of Captain Jack Sparrow, the Intercontinental Champion. But for now, it is good night from my, uh, apparently after he got eliminated, uh, fellow commentator for the rest of this match, Slappy. Thank you. Yeah, it was nice having you, Slappy. Yeah, it was great doing this. I need to start doing this every week. Whenever you don't have matches. Exactly. Well, anyways, for Slappy, this is CB Nation. Say goodnight. We'll see ya next time.